Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be uh, the part 14 of my uh, Le Mans Blue 69 Camaro Z28 restoration. And this is going to be part one of the uh, engine assembly. And I'm going to start off by showing you the engine and transmission and all of my parts and pieces that I've been accumulating over the last probably four years. Some of the stuff is original that's restored and others uh, are things that I've found that have the correct date code. So to start off, uh, here's my uh, original Muncie uh, M21 tranny that came out of the car. And as you can see there, it's March of 69, 12th day, I think it was. And then uh, the engine is uh, March 18th of 69, and the machine shop lightly grazed over that that number there so that's why um, it was it looked the way it did this is uh, looks like March 3rd was when the block was cast and here is a shot of the 6618 on the block as well as the um, that clock there that just kind of shows the shift and everything else so when it was uh, cast here's a shot of the uh, crankshaft with the notch in it that denotes it as the 302 crank and the block still needs to be cleaned up a little bit I got it back from the machine shop so um, here's a uh, NOS uh, oil pan for the Z28 it's got the uh, Got the uh, shelf there for the um, for the uh, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, the uh, there are the dimples for the um, Z28. And here are all the parts and pieces uh, laid out on a couple of different tables that I have. And again, I've still got some things like the radiator I don't have shown here, but it's the original radiator to the car. And then uh, that's a reproduction grill right there that's all painted and ready to go. Uh, here are the original heads, which I'll go over the numbers and the date on that. I'm replacing the pistons with new pistons, but the rods uh, are the original. Here are the original valve covers, the non-dripper with an NOS cap on it. These are the reproduction uh, exhaust manifolds, which I'll go over. There's the restored starter. And I've got the, uh, the restored smog pump with all the hardware. And I'll talk about that USA 1 plate here in a minute. So in the meantime, I just want to point out my, my new lift that I just got finished building. And this is where the car will uh, be stored when it's all restored. I got the Wildfire uh, XLT lift, which is a fantastic lift. Anybody who's looking for a four-post four lift. So starting off with all my parts and pieces here, all this area right here is the uh, the smog pump. Now it's the original smog pump that's been restored, and it's got the date code on there, and I believe it's 9C4. And I apologize, some of these date codes that I bring up to the camera are not focused in properly, but that that date code right there is 9C4, which is 69 March 4th. Um, I'm sorry, that, that's not correct. That, that's, the, uh, that's for the distributor. But anyway, here's the uh, diverter valve. It's an NOS diverter valve for the uh, smog pump. That's brand new. It's an NOS. It's a new old stock, so it is uh, from back in the day, but, it, but it's never been on a car. Here's some more parts and pieces for the uh, smog pump with the correct markings on them. They've been cleaned up and 
ready to go. The uh, smog tubes that you see there are reproduction. I believe this is a reproduction um, pulley for the smog pump, but it's got the correct uh, casting on there. It's the deep groove. Not casting, but part number. And again, those smog tubes right there, they're re reproduction uh, smog tubes until I can find a really nice set of original. These are reproduction um, hoses and so on that go with the smog pump with all the correct uh, um, codes and markings on them. This is the uh, clutch fan. Uh, the the clutch for the for the fan it's a reproduction but again all the correct markings assembly line correct this this right here is the uh, reproduction of the coil with the correct markings this is an original cam um, pulley for the Z28 only and there's the uh, part number right there again with the deep groove it's been restored. This is the original crankshaft pulley, again, with the um, correct part number on there for the Z28 only. The 6668CG, the deep grooves. These right here are, are a set of NOS never been opened distributor cap and rotor from 1969 as you can see there it's never been open the cap's been halfway open but it's never been the the string has never been fully pulled all the way around so i thought that was pretty cool when i found it there's the original part number with the i believe the correct date on there i'm not sure Here's the box where the rotor is. And again, you can see the original string that you pull to open it. Again, there's the part number. And then these are NOS uh, points and condenser. The correct number on there. Again, I don't know if these are old or new or whatever i think they're i'm pretty sure they're nos though here's the restored distributor and again the distributor has a date code of 9c4 which is uh march fourth quarter or fourth week of march of 69 and again i apologize that these date codes are not really that clear and then the uh, part number there is 1111480, which is Z28 distributor. This right here is an original 1969, uh, they call them booster plates. And they were license plates that the dealer would put on the cars in the showroom. And this is an original NOS, putting you first keeps us first. That was their motto in 69. And this that's an original NOS plate. It's never been on a car, so I pay dearly for that. There, these is uh, these are a bag of uh, brass freeze plugs that I'll put on the block when I start on that video. My next video will be uh, the start of the assembly of the engine. Here's my restored uh, starter. It's been fully taken apart, restored painted the whole works and it's got the correct date code there uh, c 9 c 13 and the correct part number or yeah part number and again that's 9 c 13 so that would be march 69 13th of march these are original nos ac assembly line spark plugs Supposedly, these are the exact plugs that they put in the engine you know, on the assembly line, the 302 on the assembly line. And these are an original NOS set. This is my timing cover. And again, the timing cover is very hard. It's, I haven't cleaned it up or anything, but the timing cover is very hard to see the date code on there. 
but it's actually 927. So uh, the way they code these is the 9 is for 1969 and the 27 is the 27th day. So that would be January 27th of 69. And again, that's the one that I took off the engine. Uh, but again, it's very hard to see the numbers there. But when you look at them in real life, it, it, uh, it's very evident. 927. Again, I don't think it shows up very well on the camera. This is the uh, original Muncie shifter. It's been fully restored, re-chromed. That's a reproduction ball on there. Uh, but again, it's brand new and looks right. That's the day code on there. And again, I don't recall what that day code is, but it is March of 69, or I'm sorry, I believe it's February of 69 actually. Um, again, I'm dubbing this video, so I don't have it in front of me at this moment. So, But I do remember it's a February of 69 shifter. And again, it's been completely restored, new uh, bushings, uh, it's been uh, new rubber bushings and so on. This is these are restored uh, linkage rods with all new hardware. Everything's been replated and restored. It's the third rod. This is a reproduction uh, shift linkage plate. And again, I've got the original and I'm, I'm probably going to clean up the original one and use that. But I may still use the reproduction one. It's a pretty good reproduction. So to the exhaust manifolds, these are the reproduction exhaust manifolds that I got at Heartbeat City. These are uh, assembly line correct exhaust manifolds, but the date on it is, I believe, May or June of 68. So the, the, the day code isn't correct, but when they're on the car, you can't see the day code anyway. But the casting number is correct. It's in the correct location. location. And they're brand new exhaust manifolds. You run the chance of, when you get original ones, if you can find them and, you know, break the bank buying them, uh, they may or may not be any good. They may have hairline cracks in them or whatever. And if they have cracks in them, the engine will <laughs> let you know. This is a reproduction oil filter and all the markings are supposed to be uh, exact. Whether they are or not, I don't know, but it, it's a reproduction oil filter. This is my original Holly carburetor that came on the car. It's got the correct date code and everything, and I've had it totally restored. There's a guy in New York that restores these, and he just did a, a magnificent job on this carburetor. It literally looks brand new. And again, the date code there is correct. It's, uh, I believe it's in February of 69 as well. But the carburetor is just absolutely beautiful. Hate to cover it up with a air cleaner. So now to the valve covers. These are the original valve covers. I've cleaned them up and I've put an NOS oil filler cap on there. And you can see the S and the uh, the other stamp there. And again, as you can see, brand new NOS. Again, I paid dearly just for that stupid cap. And as you can see, these are the non-dripper valve covers, which are correct for the early 69 Camaros Z28s. Late 
69Zs had drippers on them. And I've got a brand new flag logo, NOS, brand new from GM. They still make them. So I'll replace that one that's all scratched up. These are brand new from, from Chevy uh, solid lifters for the engine, the correct ones. And I've just chosen to keep everything completely stock, original, assembly line correct, as they say. So I bought brand new ones from Chevy. These uh, push rods are uh, from, uh, from comp cams. And again, here's the uh, the brand new piston. And again, I I had the original pistons, but I don't know how many miles were on them. You never know what condition they're in. And I just think it's much safer to put brand new pistons in there on a 50-year-old engine. Again, the rods are the original pink rods, and they've been completely reconditioned by the uh, machine shop. And I've put brand new uh, rod bolts in there. Again, you don't want to compromise with with that kind of stuff. I, I just think brand new hardware and brand new pistons and everything are really the way to go on these old engines. And I'm using Hastings rings. And then here are all the new uh, main bearings. And then same with the rod bearings. These are the original rocker arms with the uh, the oval there, which is correct for the 302. And these have all been checked and cleaned and reconditioned. This is a um, restored uh, water pump. And again, that's B2569 on there the, for uh, February 25th. This is the original harmonic balancer or harmonic balance whatever you want to call it. It's the original 7708. And again, these aren't, you know, I'll have all these repainted and everything once they're assembled. Here's the, the original heads that have been completely redone. This is a February 3rd, 69 head. And the other one is a February 11th of 69 head. Then the uh, original bell housing, which I have not cleaned up yet, but here's the 8403 for the Muncie. And the date code on this is really strange. It's got C for March and then four dimples for the fourth week of March. And mine's a March 24th car, so that's actually the fifth week. And then it's got the, uh, I just wanted to show the original, you know, markings on the bell housing, the GM there and so on. So I, I buy a lot of the assembly line correct parts and pieces, odds and ends from Heartbeat City and you know they are just so great there. They're very helpful and they have a great supply and they just really carry super high quality stuff 
with very little compromise. So, and here's uh, that box right there. I'll show you whatever was in that box there. Um, I've got my intake, my alternator, and so on. But th these are all the things that came out of that Heartbeat City box, and I'll kind of go over these things briefly. So to start off, I got brand new. Uh, I believe these are reproduction motor mounts, um, and all the parts that have the uh, the Heartbeat City label on them. You know, these are the uh, forgot what bolts those are but again all these odds and ends and everything they're all assembly line correct they got the correct markings on them and everything so it's really high quality great stuff here's a uh, brand new choke mechanism for the intake manifold for the automatic choke this is the oil pump rod Again, that, that this mechanical stuff I just don't like to compromise on. I just, as long as it's assembly line correct, I don't mind the reproduction. Those are the heat shields that go on the exhaust manifold around the car, uh, spark plugs. This is the uh, console, brand new console wire harness, which is just beautiful. This is the uh, heat shield for the carburetor. Very nice reproduction. This is one of the bolt sets, and this particular bolt set is for the uh, ma this is the engine, the master engine bolt kit, and it's got every single nut and bolt and washer and everything clip whatever, and it's all labeled beautifully, and just really high quality, great stuff. So. Again, there's the label for that. This is the uh, under the hood wire harness. Again, very nicely done. Then here's my restored alternator and Again, it's got the correct date code on there, which is March of 69. And I'm not sure, again, what it is. I'm 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 dubbing this, so I don't have it in, in front of me here. But I believe it's the uh, March 69 and the correct part number and the deep groove pulley. And then the intake manifold has been restored, cleaned up, basically is all you do. And as you can see, it's got the correct numbers on it, 2472 for the 302. And the date code on the back is March 19th, I believe. March 17th, 69. And again, that that uh, shield that goes on the bottom here is normally riveted on where these holes are. This one's been taken off and threaded and it'll be reattached with screws uh, with the toughest Loctite that I can find to replace the screws. So, so that's going to do it for this video. And the next video, I'm going to start assembling the engine. And uh, I thank you so much for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share. And look forward to the next video next week when I start putting this engine together. Again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.